Hello and welcome to this video on how to create history flashcards. Um, there's probably about three different types of history flashcards that you can create. There's probably ones which are all about facts, dates and statistics or examples, um, definitions, keywords and also more kind of question focused ones such as the key reasons for an event happening or um, write it, how to write out an account of how an event happened. In this video I'm going to try and take you through all these three and we'll, we'll see them in action and how best to kind of pick ones to use. First up, what is a flashcard? Well a flashcard looks something like this, you can get them from any news agents, um, whatever really, they're, they're pretty pretty easy to pick up and pretty cheap as well. Um, so, first up, little tip, I always cut flashcards in half, it just saves you money, you're immediately doubling the number that you have in a pack, and um, you're not gonna, actually going to be putting a huge amount on each one if you're making them properly. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's, um, that's a good place to start off with. Okay, so, let's do it. So, how do we revise with flashcards, how do we create them? So here's a knowledge organizer. This is from the start of the GCSE um, AQA First World War History course. Um, and the first topic is all about tensioning Europe. And if you look at that and you get given that, you know, I've folded the page in half as well. There's quite a lot to learn. It looks pretty tricky. Um, but the great thing about flashcards and creating flashcards is you don't need to write down every piece of information. In the past, when we've got students to kind of create flashcards, they'll probably take all of this box and just rewrite it on here. That's just not effective at all. Instead, when you're creating flashcards, you actually want to try and put as little information as possible on them. And that might mean you end up with loads, but it's probably a better way of doing it. Okay, so how do we go about doing it? Well, um, first off, we're going to start on this side. Um, it, you could end up with absolutely loads of flashcards. So you want to create some sort of categorization system. Um, I'm going to break it down by topic. So you can see this topic is to do with tension in Europe. So I'm just going to, I'm, it's going to take ages to write that out on every flashcard. So I'm just going to go for topic one, um, T, in E, right? So that means anytime I have a look through my flashcards, I know that that's the topic it is to do with. All right, okay. Um, and then we're going to look in this first box. Now, what's important to know there? Well, sort of important, sort of important, but they're before, probably before the start of the course. Also interesting, but probably before the start of the course. Now, this one, that is worth learning isn't it? Kaiser Wilhelm became leader of Germany in 1888. We know how, who Kaiser Wilhelm is. We know he's an important figure. That one might well be worth knowing. So let's, let's start with that one. Um, first off, what we're doing here is we are identifying the type of flashcard. And this one is to do with facts, dates and statistics. It's a good one to know. Okay, so here we go. Um, and just very, very simple. We're just going to frame it as a question a question to learn the answer to. So, uh, when did Kaiser Wilhelm the second become leader of Germany? Okay, so you can just see I've got one simple question on that side. I'm not doing anything more. I'm not kind of, um, yeah, nothing fancy. Just a single question, because that's all we're trying to learn the answer to. Okay, and then on the opposite side, I'm just going to put the answer. 1888. There you go. We've just created a flashcard. Now, you can see there's... Not a huge amount of information on there. That's not too taxing or frightening to learn. It's really straightforward, isn't it? Okay, so for that box, that's our first one created. But if we have a look at the next one down, 
you can see here, well, the politique, that's probably worth learning as well. Um, we know that's quite an important term. It's for, it was for foreign policy, Germany intended to make Germany a major world power. Great key term to pull out in the exam already. What we're doing there is we're thinking which type of flashcard. Okay, this is a definition, keyword one. It's a good one to know. So you see here that I've already created my attention in Europe. I forgot to put a one there. No, okay. So categorizing that, if we end up with hundreds of flashcards, we know that this is topic one in the First World War course. And you can imagine, just, just picture me creating all my First World War flashcards on yellow flashcards as well. So it'd be really easy to kind of work out what they are. Okay, let's go for it. So what was the name of Germany's Okay, lovely. So, what's the name of Germany's foreign policy? Little policy. Nice little definition. Um, to be honest, you know, there's a lot on there, isn't there? Intended to make Germany a major world power by expanding its empire and armed forces. Do we really need to know that? Well, you kind of probably do. If you if you know what Weltpolitik is, it's probably going to trigger in your mind exactly what the rest of it is. I mean, if you were really worried about it, I guess you could put it down underneath it, Weltpolitik, expanding empire and armed forces, yeah? But you didn't, you wouldn't have to do that if you felt confident that you would know that just from knowing that word because you looked at this in class you know you'd spoken about it and you, you kind of knew what it was as soon as you saw the word you probably don't need to but if it, if it felt a bit kind of um you know um like something you wanted to you could write it down but again the key thing is now we've created two you just see like i haven't done a huge amount on there just question and answers and that is kind of how you really create flashcards. You just try and keep it as simple as possible. Much easier to learn these than a whole block of text, right? So, sometimes though, it does become a little bit trickier, right? This knowledge organizer is probably not the best for it. But this one, we're going into kind of the causes of war here. We're getting a bit closer. These are some key flashpoint moments, uh, which are kind of creating tension prior to 1914. And with this one, we've got the first Moroccan crisis. Now, on this AQA paper, one of the questions is write an account of how events happened. And this is really good thinking, actually. If, if you're a student who's kind of thinking this, like how, how do I best learn that in preparation for that type of question? That's a good sort of thinking to go through. Um, it's, it's good exam preparation and it's good history as well, knowing how to write an account of an event of how it became a crisis. So um, there's more, there's a lot on here, isn't there? And that can seem quite daunting. So how do we break that down? Well, we're still going to just use our little flashcard. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. We're moving on to a different topic here. So two and causes of war. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for that one. And I'm just gonna do, how did, sorry. How did the first Moroccan crisis
six become a crisis. Let's just go for that, all right? You could have gone for something, how did it lead, lead to tension in Europe or something like that, I don't know, but let's just go for that. Right, on to the other side here. So, there's a lot of information in these lines, isn't there? And there's, there's a lot of key stuff. So if I'm thinking through what's really important, well, the name of it is good. We, the, the date, we want to remember those things. And Kaiser promised to support Sultan of Morocco. Yeah, as a rule of free country. Expected Germany to have advantages in trade and commerce with Morocco, equal to other countries. We know that annoys the French, right? It doesn't say it on there, but we do know that angers the French because we've looked at this. Okay. Right, so what's going to be key to pick out here? Well, it happens in two phases. So let's try and do phase one. Um, March 1905. Kaiser's Open door speech in support of Sultan Angus French. Yep, so I've taken the key information there and I've just taken that down to as simple as I can. And again, that's that crucial thing, just trying to make your flashcard as simple as it possibly can be. And then we're moving on to the second bit, phase two. Again, we don't want to write everything down here, but let's just have a look what's important. Britain and France met Germany, forced the Kaiser to back down. Kaiser felt humiliated, isolated and bitter because of a perceived threat from a strengthening entente cordiale. Okay, right, so... Key things here, if I'm thinking about it, is the Kaiser is angered after being, you know, uh, forced to back down. That's probably the, the key thing, and we need the name of this conference. So, Alger, Algeciras Conference, nineteen oh six. Kaiser humiliated, forced to bat down. By Britain, BR and FR. That can just speed you up as well. Okay, that's all it is. All right, and you can see there. What I've done, if you think about the flashcards, is this is very much one which answers a question, isn't it? It's not a key, some re key reason for an event happening, but it's definitely question focused, yeah? How did, how did it come a crisis? We know that is potentially a question on the exam, we're prepping for it. Um, and that's, that's kind of a really good way of doing things as well, yeah? And we've got everything we need to know about the Moroccan crisis just on that one card which we've kept as brief as we possibly can. We're taking quite a complex event there and we've just put it down to two sentences. Now, the idea of that is you might well know more about the Morocco crisis, but just by having that one line, it will trigger, hopefully, some of that other knowledge which goes around it. And, and, um, and that's the key thing. You've got some really good facts there, haven't you? You've got the years, um, you've got the names of the key things which happen, like Open Door, you've got the name of the conference, that's what we're looking for, okay? So what I've taken you through there is how to create those three facts, dates and statistics, which was, where was it? Here we go, remember that one? And keywords, definitions, what was the name of Germany's foreign policy there? And we've done a question.
question focus one, which is a, a note right in the count style question we're preparing for there. So pretty useful stuff. Um, and the thing is, people think, wow, I know that now. Yeah, if, if you probably wrote that, that, I mean, just from watching this video, you can probably remember those three. And um, that's, that's the power of it, or at least it seems like it's the power of it. They're just through creating the flashcard, you've learned it. However, I'm sorry to say that's just where it starts. Um, so the, the creation is an important part of it because it's about selecting the best material and um, trying to think what would, what would be good on revision cards. But really, none of, the, none of the proper, proper learning has taken place. We're just at stage one. I'll talk you through next what to do um, when we go through into the next stages where we're properly learning stuff then. Okay, but for the meantime, create some flashcards.